All right, so welcome back to another video. Sorry for the kind of long gap. I, I just got super sick and I was out for like three, four days. As, as you can tell, I still can't really talk very well, but that's all right. So I'm getting back to work on this thing. Uh, in that recovery video, you got, a lot of you guys are saying I need backup lights in the back. And I agree with you. And you guys know I've been in love with these knob sight lights. So they reached out to me again. And I asked, hey, can I get some for the back? So they sent them out to me. This is a different kind of light as well. I actually really like how these ones look. I'm super excited about these. But same as how the front lights were, you know, they come with the amber covers and the dark covers as well. So yeah. So these are the two, I forgot already. Yeah, just two inch off-road lights. So it's just a different model of light or whatever. But I think they look super cool. I like how they're rectangular instead of squares. I don't know. I don't know why, I just really like them. When I saw them on their website, I'm like, I want those. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them right here. Kind of tucked up out of the way, facing backwards. So I think it's gonna work out super good. And I'm super excited to have some backup lights because in the dark, you can't see behind you at all on this thing. So obviously these aren't gonna be on all the time or you're gonna be blinding the people behind you. But you know, if you get up on something, you gotta back up or if I'm doing a recovery in the dark and I need light behind me, this is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna get these installed. Okay, so I just got them installed. Uh, they have a little bit of a tilt to them just because that's how the body goes, which I think it looks all right. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm happy with it. Um, I got it all wired up, as you can see. So I think that's gonna be super, super nice. And obviously, you know, take these covers off and they're a lot brighter without them. I kind of like the amber color and I think it'll be um, a little bit less bright as well if I got to use them and someone's behind me uh, I can kick them on and it's not going to blind them so all right so my buddy just called he broke his track bar bracket off of the frame rail uh, out wheeling it so we're gonna kind of gather up some supplies and see if we can go fix it we're gonna load the blazer up onto the trailer. We're gonna load the welder up. We're gonna take a generator, some flux core wire, and see if we can weld it up good enough to get it down. And then we'll bring his back on the trailer and we'll fix it up right. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of as far as we got in the plan. Yeah, so basically, yeah. hopefully, hopefully we got enough amperage. It's a pretty good sized welder. I mean, a pretty good sized generator, so. I think we should be able to get it welded up at least good enough to get off the trail. Taking a grinder, some scrap metal in case we got to, you know, gust at something or, but. So yeah, we're gonna get this thing loaded up onto the trailer and yeah, go from there, I guess. And it's a perfect day because it's raining, so. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> windows, so let's go. Should be a good day.
Sweet. Can I get the generator? I gotta get the generator, yeah. Where'd we, where'd we arrive at? Okay, so we're just over at his house. Um, we're gonna unload it here, get everything un uh, loaded up, and go up the mountain, go find him, and, well, he's actually here. His other buddy's here as well, so we're gonna go up with him and get it figured out. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're breaking your stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
Joe's around. Yeah, it is. I haven't lost it yet. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's it's right there. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that is a little bit hard. I don't know. <laughs> I come down expecting him to be on something hard. <laughs> Just kidding. Just giving him crap. Bruno walked right up that when he drove it. That's a different line. It is a different line, but yeah. the same sort of area. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're going to generate a strap for this thing. Yeah, <laughs> you can hear it creaking around up there. the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Bust his knee. Ow. Oh yeah. Go over and check it out. Right. Dipped out, bud. Yeah. yeah, that's the issue too, so we gotta go backwards. Look at that. Wow. The spring all look okay or does it look busted? Yeah, it looks good. Spring mounts are okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't break the coil, which is good. Take that generator off. Bring it over here. We could move the sticks. Because we could use him to winch at that angle and then you could pull the blazer. I think <laughs> we start to flip, I'm jumping off. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, I want to even put my seat belt on, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it up onto the front. Okay. Okay, okay you got it? Yeah. Okay, <coughs> I I'm got gonna... it too. This is kind of fun. Well, do we Ready? need to video this? Jake needs to be over there. Oh, yeah, we need a video. Brayden, you're not supposed to be helping. You're supposed to be video. Be over there. Okay. It's in the truck. Don't dump my roof either. Christine Bond. 
body. Clean one of those tires needs to go over okay. again. Get that bottom frame part on that left side. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now we're in a better spot to unload, I think. <laughs> Don't smack my already smack me. Okay, <laughs> Good old art captain. Come it's an off road welder now. Because <laughs> yeah. Carnage welder is one that sponsor me. So. This is the setup. Hey, this just is my Carnage lug welder. Lug this around everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want it? Like right there? Let's see how. It's off, but it's not. And it's close, but let's see if I can go through. Right here. Well, this is my worry is the big hole in the frame right there. I'm trying to weld back onto that. It's got a couple holes. Yeah, I wonder if we can throw a, some kind of plate right there before we weld it. I don't know. Then it would make it offset different. But you think you can just extend that or something? Would you want to like plate this and weld that hole in? No. I think we can just, just grind it really on. good. Yeah. Just get the I'll flap wheel, that. clean it up. That's pretty th super thin. See, the top wasn't even welded. Oh, it's dub inside, it's double plated. Yeah, they were, did not do good. But that hard bar is pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an important thing. Part of the thing. I don't know what way is the choke. Going a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, it's almost there. You might want to come look at it now. That may be good. Oh. That may be too much now. Should we get something to wedge under there to hold it while you're welding it? Or where do you want it? Do you want it in the same exact spot? We want yeah. it to be close to this so parallel. Right there. Yeah, on like a rock or something to wedge it. Oh no. We just throw like a tack on it and that hole look like it's right in the way. Where? Let's put it uh, a little hole. bit forward, like right so there. It shouldn't change much, should it? Or any so little, I can any weld it or anything? There. Uh no, that shouldn't change. As long as this doesn't, as long as this don't house. hit, 
Yeah. I can even angle it forward, back just a hair like that. Good. I need a light. I need a light. I think we got it welded good enough to get it home no and then uh, we'll fix it right you know with a good welder do you have my phone yeah I do cool I just want to get a light or there's a light on there actually show it with that light so it's not the soup it's not super pretty but those are some decent welds it ain't pretty but it's sturdy yeah um although I wasn't able to get any weld down here because the frames all pulled off and stuff but I think when we get it home, uh, we'll end up plasma cutting this bracket off anyways and cleaning it up again and yeah, making it real strong. Or just leave that and weld over it or something. I, I'm not 100% sure. It and, yeah, dude. If it works good like that, then we'll just finish weld it and finish it up. But let's see if we can get this thing off without breaking it and if we can. Probably go video that. should have it now. There you go. Yep. 
nice. That's crazy. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you can you can try and if if we can winch you out, a worst case scenario. Like. Can you go forward? Yeah, yeah, you're looking good. Yeah, it's really, yep. You kind of just keep this wheel sort of like here. There you go. Try to go up that rock here. Nice, nice. Yeah, that looks about right. Try going a little passenger. Yep, got tension on it, so. It's kind of a tricky spot to get out of. Yeah. yeah. It is. getting out of that spot it's a tough spot actually once you're down there you have to get out somehow and it's it gives you an apicule down there so but we got it welded up it's driving i think the weld's better than we think i don't know i don't i don't weld with flux core very often but i think we got it decent enough and then we were going to tonight but we'll fix it right another day we'll bring it up to my house and get it all fixed up but yeah we just cruising back and Get these things loaded back up and yeah, call it a day. So just cruise out of here. Well, that's where we're gonna wrap this video up. Got it loaded back on the trailer. We got his buggy home. His buggy was never broken. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, first welding on the trail and it was fun. All you gotta do is take a 300 pound generator and a welder and <laughs> there you go, super simple. Get but we'll get that fixed up in a later video. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna end it off today. So thank you guys for yeah. 
helping me make a video by breaking your stuff and thanks right. for coming up and fixing it. We needed it. <laughs> we were fun. in a bit of a pickle. So. Yeah, I didn't realize how bad it was. We came over the hill and we were making fun of you. Like, oh, we thought it was gonna be somewhere bad, but no, it was down in there is pretty bad. So, <laughs> especially when it's wet. So. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>